me, me here, Richard, you know, metal fan, um, bringing you guys another CD update. I've gotten 13 new CDs since the last one, and I just wanted to figure, figure I'd show off what I have gotten and since the last one. But anyway, let's get started. Now, this first CD I got in is, um, it's sort of like a stoner rock metal band that I do enjoy these guys, some of these guys' stuff. And I think I saw them live in Manfest in, I think, oh, 2011. And eh, they're not bad, which is, I got the self titled debut from Red Fang. And a pretty good album, if you ask me. I think some of the best songs are probably Prehistoric Dog, Night Destroyer, and Human Remain, Human Remains. And Whales and Leeches. It's a pretty good debut album, if you ask me. Um, some people are going to make fun of me for this band, but whatever. I do enjoy some of these songs from this band, but I'm not a big fan of this band. <laughs> That'd be Awake by Skillet. I do enjoy a couple tracks like Hero and Monster and One Day Too Late. Eh, they're not bad. They're 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 decent in my. It's a decent album in my opinion, and there's only a few songs I actually like. Okay, next this next album I'm gonna get get a lot of some hell for, but whatever. I used to like this stuff. If you're a fan of sort of the music from late '90s, early 2000s, you'll probably know it's. I used to like these guys a lot, which is <laughs> Sum 41, the debut album, All Filler, All Killer, No Filler. This act came out in I believe 2001. I don't know if you like the song Fat Lip, which I do love that song. I think it's a pretty good song. He asked me. I especially love their older stuff. Brings back sort of memories as a kid. Just, just, just nostalgic reasons. I just, I don't know. Their, their newer stuff sucks, but their older stuff, it's not bad. Now, these next two are both from the same band. This is also an older, oldie, but band I really loved, especially during middle school years from sixth, seventh grade. I got they're both two of them from the same band. And they're, that'd be <laughs> Three Days Grace. I have One X. Probably they're probably my favorite album of them in my opinion for the longest time. While I had it was their, their debut album. And now I have one X, probably the best songs are Pain, And What I've Become, Never Too Late, Get Out Alive, Riots, um, On My On My Own and Gone Forever. For, I'm just I'm just this is was my jam, especially from seventh grade when I was like twelve, thirteen. I just enjoyed loving it. And three years later I got their other album called uh, Life Starts Now. It's a pretty pretty good album, but honestly, in my opinion, it, it, I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as 1X, I mean, it's, but it's a pretty good album, if you ask me. And this band, some people are going to make fun of me for this, but whatever. I I generally like, love this, some of these guys' songs, not so much the last album or down before this one, which is <laughs> Shine Down, The Sound of Madness. Uh, I do like to enjoy some sign, Shine Down. They're not that bad. I mean, this album has some best songs like Devour, Sound of Madness, Second Chance and If You Only Knew. I know they're sort of radio-friendly rock, but eh, they're not that bad. I mean, this is a decent album, in my opinion, if you ask me. And this band, I'm going to get a fuckload of shit for. But whatever. I do enjoy some of their stuff, and I got their the latest album that came out last year, which is A Day to Remember, Common Courtesy. Yeah, you guys are going to give me a lot of shit for this band, but whatever. I like them. I think they're cool. Well, I don't think they're that cool, but... They're a good band. I like like the, their stuff. But anyway, now this this should make up for it. And I was surprised I found this at Barnes and Nobles, which is one of my favorite death metal albums of all time, which is Spiritual Healing by Death. I was surprised they had this at Barnes and Nobles. This is actually this is an original pressing. This is actually a pressing that Relapse Records did in 2012. It actually comes with a bonus six with sort of like rehearsal tracks and instrumentals and other cool stuff. It's a it's a great death metal band and I do and love death. I think they're this is actually a classic. I'm really glad to have found this. And next one is a classic rock album and I do enjoy some classic rock here and there. And this one I I just saw it for like seven bucks and I had to get it. Which is A C D C high high voltage. Now this is actually a a remastered version DG pack that came out in 2003. This album originally came out in, I believe, 19, 1976. Actually, is a uh, the DG pack. It's good. Now I want to save the best for last. Now these next four CDs are from the same band, and I'm really glad to have found these CDs. And they're one of my favorite, my favorite folk metal band of all time, and the band that got me into folk metal. And yes, I have gotten 
four Ensiferum albums. I had to get some Ensiferum shit. Right here I have Iron, probably my favorite Ensiferum album. And it's actually one of the last, the last song that I believe Yari Manpa played on before he I think he was fired or he got left the band to do his thing with Winter Sun. Awesome album, really got the song Tale of Reve Revenge that got me into this band. And this actually is a bon bon I think a special edition. It actually comes with a bonus track of them covering Metallica's Battery. And I'm going to get some hate for this, but I think they did that song better than Metallica's. I don't know. I, I'm going to get some hate, but I do love Metallica's version, but I don't know. It's just something about their version. Just wow. And then we get to uh, Victory Songs, the first full-length album with uh, Petri Lindrus. And... I really enjoy this album. Easily, I think, my second or third favorite Ensiferum album. It's a really good album. Then we got From Afar. I think my second favorite Ensiferum album. I think Victory Songs is my third favorite, but this is a, my second favorite. Had some of my favorite song, songs like The Tile Track and Heathen Throne and Elusive Reaches. Really great song. And we get to their most recent album that they put out, 2012, Unsung Heroes. The sucky thing is I got the standard edition and not the the bonus track, which had a Mumbleo and a bonus DVD. But hey, I'm not going to go and buy it, buy it again. I already have this one. But yeah, that's just my little CD update for you guys. So I'm trying to get more CDs soon. Which hopefully get a, a, a sea of CDs. <laughs> you see, I'm trying to get to them, but it's money and I... Can't, and I can't just go spend it willy-nilly. I get other shit, important shit, but other than CDs. But yeah, that's just my video. I uh, hope to see you guys later, and keep it metal.